and good morning so I went to bed at like 9 30 last night insanely early because I was exhausted for some reason and I woke up at 10 30 so not intending that at all I have my alarm set for like 6 which apparently I slept through um, yeah so 13 hours of sleep I guess I needed it I, it's, I don't know um, <clears throat> anyway so I got a phone call this morning from a recruiter for another company an application that I submitted outside of Boston um, and they set up a phone interview for tomorrow at 2 so things are starting to move in the right or continuing to move in the right direction at least with getting replies to my resume when I submit it out there. Uh, so that's good. And um, today I have to finish um, tailoring, cleaning up my resume for that Harbor Master job and, uh, and drafting a cover letter for it. And um, get to the gym at some point. So other than that, I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's a uh, nice day out today. Warm. It's kind of one of those like hazy days out in the sky, like blue up top and gray on the horizon. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how that goes. So we have the backyard back, which these two seem to like. And they hear the neighbor's dog outside. What? Oh my. So this afternoon's been an unexpectedly productive afternoon. Um, got a call back from the bank recruiter and I have an in-person interview scheduled for that position I mentioned on Thursday, so two days. Um, and it's also a bank that, uh, the bank that CJ works for, so I was talking to her and she was talking to her boss who knows the hiring manager and gave me a couple you know tips as far as the personality of the gentleman I'll be interviewing with which is really cool um, say seems like a uh, pretty straightforward guy from what uh, I'm being told so that uh, so that's that's a good thing um, so fingers crossed we'll see how that goes I've also got a phone interview for another job tomorrow uh, yeah so like I said yesterday things are moving and uh, and we'll see. It's exciting to know where I'm going to end up. Cause at this point, I, who knows? But uh, you know, could be staying around here. Could end up in Providence, or you know, this phone interviews for a job near Boston. So we'll see. Um, lots of opportunities right now. It's just a matter of seeing which one pans out. So hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, there'll be some good news and some answers. Uh, as far as the rest of the day today. Uh, I need to get cleaned up and go find dinner. I didn't get to go grocery shopping yesterday, which I need to do. And I'm probably not going to do that today. <laughs> I don't know why. I've been tired. Um, I think it's allergies. Uh, being uh, first allergy season here since 2009. And just been tired. And I think all the allergens are hitting me pretty pretty hard. So, so yeah. I think, that's, I think that's what's doing it. I'm not sure. But we'll see. Alrighty, so I am running out to grab some dinner, and yeah, the more I think about this, the more I think my allergies are really just kicking my ass right now. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, still just tired, you know, it's like go to the gym, and then have some energy, and then all of a sudden it's like, boom, tired, and I, you know, driving me nuts. Um, tog it up and get some more Zyrtec or something also. Um, and I think I am going to run back to TJ Maxx because of the new shirts that I got last week. Uh, I was wearing one of them Sunday at that cookout I was at and uh, they had a little couple of uh, fire pits in the backyard. Well, some embers came up and yeah, I've got burn marks in my brand new shirt or one of them. Um, on the first day that I wore it, and I really like it. It kind of goes good with some other stuff that I have, so I want to get another one. Um, that's the nice thing about getting a shirt destroyed if you buy it in a place like TJ Maxx. It only costs you 11 bucks to replace it. Now, do 
there's potential that they won't have any more my size for that shirt, so we shall see. Uh, fingers crossed there. Mm -hmm. uh, got the call to pick up some groceries, so I guess now is as good a time as any to do grocery shopping. All right, so a little shopping tip for everyone. When mushrooms are on sale, they go bad in three days, so don't buy a lot of them. Buy three for five dollars, you better be able to use three in three days, or you're gonna be wasting your money. Alrighty, so I just dropped the groceries off, and now I am running to TJ Maxx to see if they still need more of those shirts. Um, hopefully they did, because I only got them last week. Um, but you never know, because they get stuff. You can't go to, you can't go to, you gotta go to the same one, typically. At least that I found, because you usually don't get the same thing in two different stores. I guess the way they do their distribution. Um, so I'm driving to Seacon, which is uh, about 20 minutes away, because that's kind of close to where I sit down. I was, I went and got dinner last week before I decided to go and buy pillows and those shirts. So, um, we're driving. All right, so today was a big success. I was able to find the shirt that uh, I got the burn holes in, TJ Maxx, so I got another one. Nice one, it's only 11 bucks. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, been, that's been just about it for the day. So, little TV and now time for bed. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, remember to subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you soon. Till next time, bye bye.